described as a dangerous situation by the Monterey County Chief Probation Officer, it was his investigator who immediately reported the illegal housing to county leaders who then moved in and shut the place down. Had it not been for that probation officer, the illegal housing might never have been uncovered or reported. Uh, but we also know there's a lot of fear from the community uh, to speak up because they don't want to be kicked out. Again, like we lack housing and, you know, like people stay in, in housing that is in bad conditions, but it's because there's just a need and there's really nowhere to go. The property owners, Nicholas and Ana Ruvalcalva, now under investigation for violating numerous building and environmental health codes. On Monday, county leaders revealed the owners were cited for previous code violations in 2014 and 2020. I mean, I think because of the limited housing, like people feel like they can do that and they can take advantage of people. The illegal housing highlighting the lack of affordable farm worker housing on the Central Coast. Community members say they're having a hard time housing those displaced in Royal Oaks because some are families with children, others have no credit that landlords look for. And unfortunately, there's not enough housing available for community members. And even the housing that it is available is in really bad conditions. Um, so we just see that overall, it's, it's been extremely difficult for families to find adequate housing that is also at a, at a reasonable price, price that they can pay.